Hi guys, getting ready to do a collective. Let's see what is showing up. All right, universe, angels, and my guys, what are the messages? Okay. So something in the past, it says past life, but I read this as in the past, or it could be some sort of karmic lesson. It says pride and poker face. So somebody like doesn't want to admit, or they don't, they're hiding that they, either they had a lot of pride in the past, or they are, they know they did something wrong, and their pride is like trying to hide it or cover, like so other people don't realize. What is this past life energy? Eight of Wands, the King of Wands, the Magician, and the, the Six of Wands. Well, the Six of Wands to me can be a prideful card at times. So messages, what is this pride energy and poker face over here? King of Cups. Somebody wants to, okay, there's no apology here, so I can't say they want to apologize, but somebody here is like looking at the past saying, yeah, I was kind of arrogant. Now they're, they may be feeling lonely. They, it's like four of swords is like they're doing nothing. They have nothing to do sometimes. Like the two of swords, they see like someone doesn't want to see that they're alone. There's nothing here to do. They're by themselves possibly. Reaching out, wanting to work things out, wanting to see if they're, you want another chance. So someone may be saying their pride and ego got in the way. And so they just shut things down. And now they're realizing that was a mistake. They shut you out. They should have, you know, maybe apologized or they should have been more open to something with you. Because the Ace of Swords is like a re reconciliation. And then the eight of co Ace of Coins. Tower. Oh, the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Nine of Wands. There's something here where like, yeah, their actions didn't really align with what they really th were feeling. And they, I don't see that they were hurt. It was like they were mean to you. Like they were like too hard on you is kind of what I'm getting. Like they didn't need to be that hard on you. There was a mistake maybe made. The tower, the seven of swords can be deception, but it came after the tower, right? It's not the tower. The seven of swords didn't create the tower. Something tower, there was deception, but it's like showing that they really didn't walk away. This right here is like, I, they really didn't walk away. Because now they're facing the Nine of Wands. They aren't giving up on this. They just are letting their pride in some way get in the way or they let it in the past. One more for the Nine of Wands. But yeah, that's another kind of prideful card, Five of Swords. Because it's kind of, okay, it almost kind of feels like in the past, maybe you made a mistake. It could be any mistake. It doesn't have to be necessarily in love. And they were really hard on you and, and like kind of put you down for it or really harsh. Like they wanted to be right. They always wanted to win arguments. They always wanted to be, you know, they just had a big ego. And that may have been the ending of the connection because you just didn't want to put up with it anymore. They were hurtful. They were mean or whatever. And so you moved on. Now they're realizing, wow, I shouldn't have been so prideful. I shouldn't have been so, you know, harsh or something like that. Yeah, so much just fell out. Now, I did one, was it yesterday, where it was like, they were, someone realizing that this is a soulmate connection, like they lost their soulmate. At the time, it may have been like, oh yeah, there's other fish in the sea, this connection's not that important to me, or something like that. They, they may have not thought that, but they may have, you know, underlying feelings of like, it was no big deal. They could be really, yeah, afraid. Now, let me just let the, the cards do the talking. They're afraid of all this turmoil they're feeling unstable affected they're affected by this they've been dating but no one compares that's exactly what i'm seeing is they could be dating a lot of people and they're like wow i thought like there were going to be other you know fun guys or girls whatever they date whoever you are you know other people out there to date other people who were fun or loyal or you know we had things in common uh-uh no one's no one's holding um what he's like a candle to you or a light to you, whatever the saying is. No one else compares. They're just and now that's why that's why the four swords are laying there and they're out in the cold. They're like, Wow, I really blew it. They blew it with you. And the tower could be maybe them blowing up. Maybe they had a blow up on you and yelled at you. Maybe they kicked you out or something. Whatever it was, it was unreasonable is what I'm getting. Because I don't get like it was a cheating scandal. I mean it could have been whatever, but it wasn't like I feel like it was just either a lot of nitpicking on you or they were just, you know, always in a bad mood and they just blew up. Let me keep going here. Okay. Things are changing. That flipped around. Okay. Shocking with 
withdraw, withdrawn, withdrawn. I'm trying to figure out who's withdrawing. Is it them or you? Withdrawn fantasy, only you. Okay. Stress is under the deck. So are they shocked that you withdrew? Have you pulled back? Your energy pulled back? Because, oh, well, it says single, lonely, solitary, and that's that five of coins, four of swords. So maybe, okay, in turmoil. So they're surprised that they feel so lonely, unexpected, unexpectedly single, unexpectedly lonely. They're surprised that they feel so lonely. Because this could be someone who doesn't like need other people. Like some people just don't need to be around a lot of other people. They don't need like big families. They don't need, you know, anyway. So they, maybe also now they're feeling lonely. They're like, okay, I, let me clarify this. Holding back or holding on, holding back. Not sure what to do. Judgment, not wanting to move forward. Strength is under the deck. Now, they could be shocked that you withdrew. If you're not communicating, if you're not, you know, maybe you block them, whatever. That could be very surprising. But I do think that this person right now is kind of in this energy of, I don't know what to do next. I don't know where to go. Um, I'm kind of just holding my coins here. And now what do I need to do? What path do I take? And they don't know which eight of swords, what to do. Fantasy, only you. Daydreaming, devoted, craving. It says daydreaming, imagining, or fantasizing about you. Attached or craving. So they could be thinking about past moments the two of you had. We have the temperance, the six of swords, the fool. Page of coin. Well, they could be thinking about talking to you, page of coin. They could be thinking about, you know, what you're doing, talking about your day. Um, could be Sagittarius energy here under the deck. I have the moon. Look at this, the blocking to the past. Six of cups and the seven of wands with the moon. Again, I'm getting like, you may have blocked them and now they're kind of shocked. They may have blocked you and now they don't know why they did that to you. Could have something to do with the full moon we just had uh, on the 23rd. Maybe it's tonight, depending on where you're at. But it may have something to do with that. Maybe they're Sagittarius or Sagittarius moon. So... One more. They're worried about fighting. They're worried about talking. Under the deck is five of cups. Okay, so fantasizing about only you, the two of you being together. Okay, what is the message here? What do you need to know? Second chance. So they're thinking they want a second chance. But you guys may be on different pages, and that's the lesson. That may be the obstacle. Okay, that's... Interference. So this is saying that they want to give this a second chance, but you guys are still on different pages. So you guys could have homes in different states or countries. You guys could have different viewpoints. Again, maybe that's what they argued about. Maybe that's what this is. It's almost like this is a, just a very basic example, but like you guys are from different cultures. You have different beliefs and that's where you were raised. And they were like telling you like, well, that's stupid. Your belief is wrong. You shouldn't be thinking that like it's very, it's very arrogant, right? Like if you have your beliefs and opinions, they didn't match what they were thinking and so then they just like threw you away because of that that's what i'm seeing because you guys are are going to be on different pages it looks like but that's the lesson to be more open to be more compatible or that's not the word i want but there's and but it's going to be an obstacle because this person tends to get things their way they tend to throw tantrums so i'm seeing here at least they're learning not to but obstacle one more wait wait waiting waiting for stability wait stable stability trust okay this would not be a, the right time to reach out to them they're in too much turmoil right now this would be the wrong time not that you would or anything but i'm just saying like waiting for stability trust this person needs to get back um like i'm seeing like their legs they need to get back on the ground they could be doing silly things right now too possibly really get anything else from that but um what would this person say to you what would they say to you i don't know how to handle my emotions right now okay thank you see when i don't have the words sometimes they help me this is what i'm seeing okay if their emotions are like in such a disarray they're like very volatile they could be very abrupt hurtful angry sad so that's that's why the card said wait don't go talk to them um this is not a good time I'm sorry I hurt you. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. The whole reading is showing. And again, for some of you, you feel very discarded. Um, 
throw like they just threw you away because something that was maybe even kind of basic and simple and now they're realizing which I think is good that it happened that yeah there's no one else like you you put a lot of effort into the connection or you gave a lot or you were just genuine and that doesn't come along every day it says I keep hoping to bump into you everywhere I go that's interesting so they don't have to reach out it can just be like by accident okay one more please says, I really do care even though I don't show it. Okay. All right. Um, what else do we need to know, Spirit? Let me, let me pull from this deck. TikTok, divine timing. Okay, under the deck, it does say there is a change in the wind. So I wonder when the timing is. Let me do another card here. It says number 30. We are at the 23rd when I'm filming this. So, okay, I got a couple. It says, higher power, come to the edge and the fates. So spirit is working in this connection, in this you know situation. Something is meant to happen. This card talks about what is, what is meant to happen, what is, what's around you, the fates, coming to the edge, jumping off. Hmm. So this person, I'm just gonna repeat myself, sorry. Listen. It's like just, yeah, feeling very, um, they're in a lot of turmoil, they're very agitated, anxious, I'm feeling, okay. I may extend this one, is what I'm thinking. I'm going to see the timing. I want to see if we get a timing card. I want to know what come to the edges. Um, I want to see what else spirit has as far as how this person is feeling. Anything from this deck, please? Do we need to pull this deck? Okay. That was kind of a, okay, chaser came out, passion, lightning, and ascending came out. All right, I'm going to leave it here, guys. I'll put the link below. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.